Frost and surprise. The library was suddenly in chaos. The older one in the neighboring library, which was superior to the one in which Dan worked, was run off by a nova. A swindler, a thief and a bribe taker, completely morally and so on spoiled. She brought to her aid three brothers of quest workers, collectively nicknamed Turners. At night, in the next room, they almost always arranged joint reading of books of a criminal genre, as a result of which the clinging lady called hardly path the room in order, and the accruals for paying for such cultural events were simply disasters. Granddaddy, a satanic dandelion who spent his whole life as an informant in prison and experienced master of set ups who speaks the language with great difficulty got into the watchman of the neighboring library and she gave the task to the turns and the watchman the ruler of the neighboring library to substitute daniel where frosts were terrible, Daniel accumulated tips from the lovely visitors of the Reading Monastery and uh, built himself the first wooden guitar in his life. All the money is gone, the boots were already completely full of holes and the socks were worn out. And one morning Dan went to walk barefoot, hoping to get free quickly sleep worth the granny porter and jump into the old slippers that were under the couch. How were not Everything happened according to a bright calculation. The door to the library was locked, and uh, strange oaths came from the window. Only an her letter, a bandit nicknamed Yellow, the head of the neighboring reading room, fill out of the door three turns with a grey blue effigy in their teeth dredged barely on their feet behind it here. An old convict and a coward actively shook off snowflakes from all of them. Immediately in front of Dan's nose, the door was closed and the yellow announced to him with a shaking mouth that he was free from job to the fact when, as she believes, he wanted to poison the mentally deranged icebreaker who was taken to a library from one day and uh, fired from him.